Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so I'm just like, kind of chilling out here right now. And um, I want to talk a little bit about um, you know, what I think Android Go is for. Because uh, there's, like, there's been a lot of talk about it. Um, Android Go devices are starting to pop up here in the U.S. Um, different carriers are starting to get them and, you know, sell them on their, their networks and whatnot. And so people are just like, what are they for? Because there's really not a lot to them, okay? Um, if you go and try to purchase a device that is classified as an Android Go device, thinking that it's going to be some sort of experience that would, you know, give a power user a great experience, you are going into this very wrong. Um, see, the, the one thing that I always wondered why, you know, first of all, why Android Go was here, was in the, you know, was here in the U.S. was the fact that um, Android Go was following in Android One's footsteps. And if you guys remember Android One, the program that was supposed to bring Android all across the world, um, Android Go kind of went that same route. But initially, it was conceived for countries that didn't have a well-built-out network. So their network wasn't, like, really strongly built out. And therefore, these devices could run um, on a network that, uh, you know, is not similar to ours here in the U.S. or in China or um, in Japan or Korea, Thailand or any of those places. Because uh, those places have really good LTE service. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, to be honest, um, LTE service in Thailand is actually better than it is in the U.S. Um, I have family that tells me. Um, but anyways, so what does Android go for? Um, first of all, these are, you know, phones that run anywhere from like, you know, 8 gigabytes of internal storage with uh, up to 16 gigabytes of internal storage. And then uh, this person's driving really fast going through a neighborhood. Good job, dumbass, till you hit somebody. But anyways, um, yeah, between 8 to 16 gigabytes of internal storage. And then for random access memory, it's anywhere from like 512 megabytes all the way up to 1 gigabyte. That's RAM. For you guys who don't know, um, but anyways, yeah, it's very low spec. Um, the experience with the device is going to be very subpar and minimal. But again, this is not for the power user. This is not for the user who, you know, is, needs a phone that can multitask. This is not for the power user that uses their device for business or anything like that. This is not for the user who takes advantage of all the social media, social networking, games, and streaming, live broadcasting. It's not for that kind of person. Honestly, the reason why I think Android Go devices are here in the U.S. and why companies like Boost Mobile and, you know, several other ones are picking them up and selling them, it's not for the power user. It's not for the teenage social media freak. I believe that Android Go fits the bill for a child. Anywhere between the age of 7 years old to 12. Because think about it. And think about it like this, all right? This, this makes a lot more sense. You know, you have a seven-year-old kid who you're trying to teach responsibility to, and they're not very responsible for a lot of things, right? Um, they'll lose an iPhone, right? Like a, you know, $500 um, iPhone 7 Plus, right? They'll lose it. Um, and it, and it, would, it would agitate parents if their kids lost an iPhone, right? Or say like they lost a Samsung Galaxy S8 or S7, right? Still a pretty high expensive phone, even an LG G6. But it wouldn't be that big of stress if a child lost a $30 phone, $40 phone, $50 phone, you know? Um, that's one thing. The other thing is, is that it's very bare bones, right? So one, it kind of keeps a limitation to what the child is downloading. So like, you know, they're not going to be downloading every social media site because it's going to make for a bad experience, right? Phones going to get super glitchy, slow, and all that kind of stuff, right? So... Um, yeah, it kind of puts a limit on it. If you think about it, 8 gigabytes of internal storage, basically, like, what, like, anywhere between 2 to 3 gigs used for the operating system, because the operating system is very light, leaves maybe, like, anywhere between 5, you know, 4 to 5 gigabytes free. Um, photos, videos, and things like that, it's going to take up a huge chunk. So you're looking at probably maybe even be able to run something like, like, Facebook and Facebook Messenger, or you'll have to run, like, Twitter and Periscope or you know Google Plus or something you know but you're not gonna have like all these different social networking sites on the device because then it's gonna make for a very rough very rough experience so yeah I honestly think like Android Go is essentially good for children between the age of 7 and 12 now, a 12 year old can step it up a little bit and get a mid-range budget device that 
does a little bit more. And uh, when they're working their own job, making their own money, they can go for a flagship like a Galaxy S9 or you know Note 8, iPhone XR, whatever they want to go for. I mean, that's me. That's my opinion. That's the way I see it. So when people ask that question, like, what does Android go for? Um, yeah, I'm saying it's 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 for for the young kids, you know, who can basically either accidentally lose the phone, drop the phone, beat the phone up, or whatever. And you're not really worried too much that a nice kind of expensive phone is damaged, lost, stolen. That's pretty much it. So yeah, if you're a power user. You're interested in an Android Go device. I'm going to tell you guys right now, don't do it. Don't do it because it's not going to make for the best experience for a power user. If you got like a, you know, a little cousin, niece, nephew, uh, daughter or son, you want them to have a phone, but you don't want them to have anything that's too extravagant, then Android Go is your best bet. So that's pretty much it for this rant, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. This video was shot on the Stylo 4, so just... Thought I would add that in there. Someone was telling me I should start saying what phone I'm shooting uh, my vlog in. So, LG Stylo 4. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.